presentation we start to be talking about Cisco Space Telescope. So Cisco is one of the NASA's observation project launched in 2003. It can detect X-ray radiation from space core bodies such as exoplanets and space dust. Uh, it conducts X-ray every camera, smart band, imaging photo data, and X-ray spectra graph. And it made a huge contribution to discovery, discover uh, exoplanets. As Shua has said, Spitzer was launched into space in 2003 from Florida, United States. As Spitzer is made to detect infrared radiation, it needs to be kept cold at all times so that its own heat does not obstruct infrared radiation detection. Uh, in order to do that, the location of Spitzer is the orbital path behind the Earth where the temperature is only 35 Kelvin. This is because as the Earth orbits the Sun, the most of the temperature from the Sun is absorbed by the Earth. Uh, this is so that Spitzer does not need to use excess coolants to keep itself cool to work. Spitzer has been launched uh, from NASA to fill the gap of the wavelength that is not available on the Earth, which is from 3 uh, to 180 micron, which is infrared, which is located in this part. So this is an overview design of the telescope. It mainly consists of two parts, the cryogenic Tesla telescope assembly and the spacecraft bus. Uh, in the cryogenic telescope assembly, firstly the word cryos, that means how the components work in very cold temperatures. Firstly, the cryostat that contains the 360 liters of helium, uh, it can keep the components cool up to 1.4 Kelvin for more than five years. Then comes the outer shell, which surrounds the cryostat, and it has a black surface and a shiny surface to keep maximum heat away from Spitzer. Then comes the telescope, which is attached to the top of the cryostat. This has a 85 centimeter mirror and is made up of Beryllium, which is a light yet very strong metal. Then comes the multiple instrument chamber, which is 20 centimeter height and 84 centimeter in diameter. This contains the three scientific instruments of Spitzer. The first scientific instrument is the infrared spectrograph. This is an imaging camera which has four array cam which has four arrays that can detect wavelengths at four different points. It is made up of indium and antimony, and it can know the temperatures of the object and record how it modifies over a period of time. After that comes the multiple imaging photometer. It is also an imaging camera, but it has a wider range from 24 to 160 microns. The detector arrays are made up of germanium and treated silicon. After that, the last, so the last scientific instrument is the infrared spectrograph. Uh, this records spectra and disperses the light from an object and ranges from 5.3 to 40 microns, as it says here. Then comes the spacecraft bus. The spa the it consists of mainly two parts, the solar panel and the spacecraft bus. The solar panel has two solar panels with 784 solar cells, both combined, and combined they convert 427 watts of electrical energy from sun's radiation. Now the spacecraft bus utilizes the power supply from the solar panel to for communication and positioning of Spitzer. The spacecraft bus also contains the star tracker, which uses photocells to find the position of stars, which helps to position Spitzer in the correct position. A Spitzer by using the three instruments, uh, which doesn't have mentioned in the last part, uh, and the common and uh, common and data handling subsystem, uh, sending and receiving information from the Earth, uh, and uh, it's like the brain of the telescope that's helped to organize the data and send it to the Earth. Uh, by using the flight computer, which is have a uh, short name, which is Rod 6000, which has been uh, designed by NASA, Spitzer send the information uh, to the spa uh, Spitzer Space Center, uh, which is located in California. Spitzer have uh, transform the, the data and the information by using the two uh, antenna. Uh, one, one, one of them is high, which have uh, a rate of 44, and the other one is the low, which have 22, rate of 22. It's busy uh, doing uh, at least four communica communication time with the Earth uh, every week. As every telescope have a function, it's busy have a function, a main function to detect and uh, discover exoplanets. Exoplanets is the planet that is located outside our solar system and orbit its star. In 2016, 
SBESA have discovered um, seven uh, Earth-sized planets that's located in 40, uh, 40 light years from our Earth and a system called uh, Trebes system uh, and it's have a high possibility to have a water. In addition, in 2007, and for the first time, SBESA have discovered and identified uh, two of the exoplanets' uh, atmosphere molecules. That is a significant uh, step toward discovering any planet that have any sort of life, which is water. And in addition, uh, SBESA have been launched for more than 50 years, and as I have more than 20 discoveries, but I, 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 here I have mentioned the most important here. Uh, firstly, uh, SBESA have discovered the largest ring around Saturn. It's, uh, everyone knows Saturn because it's a unique planet of, because of its rings. It's the rings have been, that have been discovered by SBESA is 40 times the diameter of the planet. Uh, in addition, uh, SBESA have discovered the most two, dis, uh, the two, the most two distant, uh, distant uh, black holes. Uh, thirdly, uh, SBESA have made the first uh, 360 view of our uh, galaxy Milky Way.